Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 16. And what is unit ka naam hai? Animals, or yani animals. आज हम वाटर एनिमल्स के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे लेकिन उससे पहले जल्दी से रीकैप कर लेते हैं कि हमने प्रीवियस लेक्चर में क्या पढ़ा था सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स जल्दी से मुझे बताएं कि फ्लाइंग एनिमल्स जो है वो किस तरीके से जो दूसरे लैंड एनिमल्स हैं उनसे مختلف है वेरी गुड ओके नाउ लेट्स क्विकली मूव फॉरवर्ड टुवर्ड्स द एक्टिविटी सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यहां आपको दो जानवर अपने स्क्रीन पे नजर आ रहे हैं this is a crocodile or an alligator. Or ye kya hai? Ye ek ye ducks hai. So my dear students, my question aap se ye hai ke ye dono jo hai ye pani mein bhi jate hai. To kya ye water animals hai ya land animals hai? Kis bache ne kaha hai ke ye water animals hai? These are not water animals my dear students. These are land animals. Kyunki ye janwar apna ghar jo hai wo zameen par banate hai. So that is why they are land animals. So jo janwar जमीन पर अपना घर बनाते हैं वहां से खुराक हासिल करते हैं और आ, उन जानवरों को हम आ, जमीनी जानवर कहते हैं या लैंड एनिमल्स कहते हैं सो इन टुडेस लेक्चर द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू लिस्ट द एनिमल्स दे सी इन देयर सराउंडिंग्स वाटर एंड लैंड रिकॉग्नाइज दैट एनिमल्स दैट लिव ऑन लैंड आर डिफरेंट एंड फीचर्स फ्रॉम दोस दैट लिव इन वाटर सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर द इस्लामिक पर्सपेक्टिव सो लुक एट दिस Allah says in Quran that uh, the earth He has assigned it to all living creatures. Allah Taala ne zameen ko tamam jandaaron ke rehne ki jagah banayi hai aur janwar bhi unme shamil hai. So my dear students, the pre-reading question. So quickly tell me that where do fish live? Are they water animals? So fish live inside the water and they are water animals because ye apni puri zindagi pani mein hi guzarte hai. So they are water animals. So, my dear students, now is the time for reading, for which you have to open page number 135 in your GK2 books. Very good. Now, let's start the reading. Water animal. Not all animals live on land. Some live in water. Water animals spend their complete life in water. They are also called aquatic animals. So, aqua means water. So, animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. We can find them in Ocean, seas, and rivers. So, my dear students, जो जानवर अपनी पूरी जिंदगी पानी में गुजारते हैं, उनको हम water animals या aquatic animals कहते हैं. और इनके रहने की जगह जो है, वो मुख्तलिफ water bodies हैं, जैसे कि ocean, seas, rivers, lakes, ponds, etc. So, water animals swim. They have fins and tentacles that help them to move. They do not have legs to run or walk. So, my dear students, uh, movement के लिए Mode of movement बहुत जरूरी है पानी में तैरने के लिए water animals के पास या तो tentacles होते हैं या fins होते हैं अब ये tentacles और fins क्या होते हैं let's have a look so यहाँ पे आपको एक मछली नजर आ रही है और तैरने के लिए इसके पास ये fins है these are the fins of the fish और ये इसको तैरने में मदद करते हैं जबकि ये जो है ये मछली के gills कहलाते हैं जो के इसको पानी में सांस लेने में मदद करते हैं so these are the gills and these all are the and this is the jellyfish or ye is ke tentacles hote hai. So tentacles kya hote hai? Tentacle is a part of a body uh, which helps to move. Different water animals ko move karne mein help karta hai. Isi dara se octopus ke bhi tentacles hote hai aur inka multi-purpose hai ye movement mein bhi help karte hai aur ye octopus ko apna khana pakarne mein bhi madad karte hai. So, which bird fly the highest? It is eagle and falcon, they fly very high. So, all water animals lay eggs. Dolphins and sharks give birth to young ones. Can you name some other water animals? So, my dear students, pani mein rehne wale takribin tamam jandar jo hai, wo ande dete hai. Lekin shark, dolphins or whales jo hai, they give birth to live baby. Now, you have to name some other water animals, jinka baare mein aapko pata hai. Very good. So, um, sharks, dolphins, whales, catfish, uh, eel, they all live under the water. So, my dear students and teachers, teachers, you have video ko pause karke, but you have to say that 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 you have to say
very good okay my dear students now is the time for evaluation so pause the video after every question and then answer it what are water animals which live inside the water in which water bodies living animals uh, may find ocean seas rivers etc do water animals have legs no how do water animals move with the help of fins and tentacles which structures help water animals in movement fins and tentacles what are tentacles these are structures which help the jellyfish and octopus in movement name some examples of water animals octopus shark dolphin whale these all are water animals how are dolphins and sharks different from other water animals they give birth to live babies they do not lay eggs so that is how they are different so for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in from by a teacher write down your name and class and then take the water animal and cross the land animal so this is a land animal land water land okay how water animals are different from land animals water animals have fins or tentacles for movement they also have gills for breathing land animals have legs and they breathe through their lungs so my dear students for homework you will do question number 2 and 5 given on page number 140 and you will also do independent activity given on page um, independent activity so this is the independent activity jisme aapne jo animals groups mein rehte hain aapne unke bare mein batana hai and what you will do is animals or special features jo hai aapne unke discuss karne hain jaise ki lions they live in groups and they have they eat meat and run very fast so this is sea otter what does it do it lives on water and land also and it has very thick fur the crow they can fly and they make nests and they also live in groups so this is how you will complete your independent activity so my dear students the wrap up of the lesson is today we have discussed about water animals uh, that they can swim and they have fins and gills so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah